I swear one of these days you guys are going to come in and my hair is going to be back to normal. Whatever, it's fine. COVID times, right? I just, I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Whatever. Welcome back. Good to see you guys. We got a whole new video for you guys today. And today I am showing you something kind of cool that maybe some of you guys want to utilize for your own streams or whatever you want, even just as your own personal monitor. But I wanted to show you. You guys want your own heart rate on your streams? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You do have to purchase a little piece of tech, but it's not that expensive and everything else is easy and you can customize this to look however you want. So stay tuned. We're going to get right on into how to get your own heart rate monitor for your streams. Maybe you're playing a new game that is really getting your heart pumping and it, all the pressure's on you and you want to see your heart rate go up and spike and whatnot and have your viewers kind of comment on it. Well, get excited because I'm going to show you that all today with an app called Pulsoid as well as a... Uh, a little thing you gotta wear. So like right now, I'm, I'm wearing a thing on my chest. You can't see it, but it's there. The product is called Kuspo. I don't know if you're, I, I could be saying it wrong, but basically if you're wearing a thing on your, on your chest that is just this simple little tiny piece of plastic and you got this band around your chest and then you just pop this bad boy on the band and you see how the heart rate stuck at 79. So you can see, I just plugged it back in and now it's, doing its job and just so you guys are aware this thing's actually working okay let me let me just and so just like that you can see my heart rate spiking over there oh, getting the old blood pumping dude anyways 130 you know you can see I, you can customize it later but let me show you exactly how we're gonna get this done t today on this video you, you guys ready we'll step on into my desktop because we're we're, we're going in. All right, so I'm sitting here at my desktop and you can see my heart rate monitor is still in this little screen. That's usually where I leave it so people can kind of see that my heart rate is doing its thing. Let me go ahead and uh, jump on in here. We got ourselves an instance of OBS. We're going to need this, but not just yet. We do need to go get that device. So I have it loaded right here. This is the device. And again, it's just a band that you wear around your chest. Very simple. I should make that the thumbnail, right? Did they Photoshop her face? So you can see here, this is the actual device that I'm wearing right now. All you got to do is put it around your chest. You got to put a little bit of water on this little plastic part. And when you do that, that's going to send, get the signal from your body sent to the device, which is only powered by a simple little watch battery, which I have here. When you get that happening, you're going to want to go ahead and get the Pulseoid app. Okay, so here I am at the main, uh, the main... <laughs> My, my wallpaper here, I found it online. I don't know, I kind of liked it. Anyways, but you're going to need to download this program called Pulsoid, which you can see in the uh, in the middle there. Pulsoid. Pulsoid? Pulsoid. And when you first open it up, it's automatically scanning for the nearby devices. You can see it right there in the middle. It says heart rate sensor. I'm going to go ahead and click on that heart rate sensor. And just like that, I'm already connected. And in, in about a couple seconds, you're going to see me jump up my heart rate. There it goes. So now it's showing 90 BPM. And so that's saying that, hey... We have a signal and that's good. So now we need to go to the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my Pulsoid app here, but I'm gonna leave it running. I'm not gonna actually fully close out. I'm gonna leave it running in the side here. So, so I'm gonna go over to the Pulsoid website. I'm gonna go full screen here. And all you're gonna need to do is sign in. So I have a, a throwaway email address and uh, I signed in. You can also sign in using your Twitch account or whatever you have. All you gotta do is go to your dashboard and go through the steps of going through and connecting your device. You first gotta make an account. Then you got to uh, get the heart rate monitor. You got to install the mobile application. So I did. And then you got to go to your configure widgets. And then uh, going live is a separate situation. So over here on my dashboard, because I have my app connected and running, it's already showing it as active inside of the Pulsoid website. And you can see that it's, you know, my, on my cam here, it shows 85 and it's showing 85 or 86 here now. It's the exact same thing, just broadcasted back and forth here. It's just kind of globally using Pulsoid as uh, the way to transmit my signal. It's going to give you the overall maximum heart rate, your average heart rate, all this kind of stuff. But that's not really the stuff that we care about. Maybe you do. I don't know. You can also record this stuff on the fly if you guys want to. Now, there is a paid version of this. Now, I don't really need it. And you can see here, I kind of like this little simple... Uh, kind of look in, you know, Resident Evil health bar monitor thing. And I'm actually running two separate widgets. Let me go ahead and transfer over to my uh, my screen here where you can actually see what I'm doing. So here is my main, this is what I'm usually having. I just kind of blew it up for you guys, but you can kind of see that I just have the heart rate monitor sitting right here and uh, some notifications on the side. But this is what's being broadcast to my viewers at all times. And you can see it's just like I got this little wiggly line as well as some, uh, some number that's always 
updating whenever I'm doing something and it changes on the fly and whatnot. So let me go back to my main screen here. So to make that happen, I combined a couple widgets. Now you're gonna wanna go over here to the widgets tab and you got a couple of options and you got some paid, some free. Uh, and down here below, you got a medical monitor, you got uh, the dude from Doom, um, you got a bunch of stuff down here to show off to your viewers. And uh, this one's actually kind of cool right here, this little red frame overlay. So your whole screen's kind of flashing red and whatnot, kind of like Call of Duty, I guess, when you get knocked. So we don't have the bro plan. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to select this little monitor widget, which is basically copying what I have here. This wasn't available when I first did it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add it to my widgets. And that's going to put it up here in the top. And I, I have all the free ones up here. I just added it here and you can see these are all the, the default ones. I'm going to go ahead and go to this one. I'm going to hit configure. And when I hit configure, it's going to give me a code. Now this code, it's so simple to do this. All I need is to go ahead and grab this code. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And if, if you wanted to, you could, uh, you could demo it or launch it and kind of see exactly what's going on. But right now, this is what we're going to be applying to our OBS scene. Very, very simple and easy, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. We're gonna leave Pulsoid alone here. We're gonna jump into our OBS scene and I'm gonna go ahead and add a source and we're gonna add a browser source. We're gonna call this heart rate monitor. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this on in like that, hit enter. And just like that, we have our app running. We have our Pulsoid thing working. Now, if I wanted to, I could hold alt and kind of like get this all tidied up here. So when I move it around, it's just easier to look at. Or I could just go into the actual thing here and I know it's a little too wide. So the width I'm gonna bring down to 600, hit enter. That's looking pretty good. I could probably go a little bit more. Let's go to 550. And that takes it right up to the edge. Now let's do it from the bottom here. I'm gonna go down to maybe uh, 500. And we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna bring it down yet again to maybe 475. And it looks pretty dang good. So there's my source. I'm able to move it around, lock it where I like it, and uh, turn it off, turn it on, whatever I want. Now, if I wanted to add more of these, I could. So if I wanted to make my own concoction here, let's go back into Pulsoid's website. And we're going to grab this, uh, maybe this heart right here. We're going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to come back into our OBS. Go ahead and go add another browser source. We're going to call this heart rate monitor heart. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and paste this thing right here again and hit OK. And we can see the heart is uh, kind of a little bit of a different shape. And just as a test, I'm going to go ahead and drag this on over here. And instead of uh, doing the manual crop with the, uh, the source, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And I could add everything I wanted here. Maybe we just add them all and you can kind of see what they're all doing live. So you can kind of see here that th these are all like the standard defaulted heart rate monitors. If you chose to use, I added each, uh, each one of these and you can move them around however you want. I'm going to go ahead and get my heart rate going so you guys can see the changes that these things may have made. And you can kind of see the 94 right here is already changing. So I go ahead and start getting, start getting into it. And you can kind of see right here, they're all kind of going. The heart is beating a little faster over here. This one's going pretty quick. And we're looking pretty good, you know what I mean? So kind of cool to see it in a, in a sense that is uh, when it's at its peak, right? So I'm over here moving and you can see all these things going up a little bit faster. Beats per minute, things change and the waves are changing. The numbers are all changing and, and you can customize all these things. So, you know, if I go back in here to the CSGO one, you can see I can customize the colors and what colors they change to as the, uh, the heart rate goes up. The bro plan, let's go ahead and take a look at what they're asking for here. Now, I guess for three months, you could pay 10 bucks or monthly five bucks. So if you're only using this maybe one or a few times a month, maybe the $5 option is pretty good. So you'll be able to, uh, if you want to pay these prices here, you can come back over to uh, the widgets and you'll get these for free. All these ones that say bro plan on it, you can have for free. So maybe you're playing Valorant and you want that kind of style, or maybe you want a nice little bar graph like that. And you could change how it looks as it's changing. I don't know what this one does. <laughs> I think it's just how intense your Krabby Patty gets until you're dead. All right. So you can see, you know, the hearts maybe a little bit slower. This is beating a little bit slower. Everything's a little bit slower than it was when it was kind of maxed out there. And it's a uh, pretty cool, simple, easy. All you got to do is spend 25 bucks to get the device. Once you have that, you just need to download and install the application on your phone, connect it, add the browser sources that you want and you're done. That's it. It's a super simple video. Not much to it, man. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple to use. Let me go ahead and take this off real quick. So you can see right here, I got the, the strap. Uh, all I did is I put some water on the backside of this thing. 
Uh, I put it on myself. There's a little tiny clasp here at the end. You just slide that in and uh, then it's all nice and tight and it's it's uh, it's working as you would want. So pretty simple, uh, pretty great, man. I've used this on a couple different horror games and whatnot in the past. So maybe this is something that you guys want. And, you know, the, uh, the worst thing that could possibly happen is your battery ends up dying and you have to replace that. But these little tiny watch batteries aren't too expensive. You know, a couple bucks a pop if you really needed to change it out. And I happen to have a backup one right here. Uh, so pretty nice, pretty handy. And this thing is uh, a hell of a bargain when you uh, when you play these horror games and whatnot, or you just want people to see your heart rate. So pretty cool. I I've used it a few times in, uh, you know, playing the games like Tarkov, where like you get into an intense firefight or something like that, and your heart starts beating and Chad is all looking at it and they're all saying like, oh, his heart rate's going to hit to the triple digits, man. It's going nuts. So it's been a fun time. I, I like using it. It's a pretty cool device. And uh, every now and then I'll bring it in as maybe like a, uh, you know, someone can redeem some channel points for me to put it on and I'll put it on or something like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nice and simple, right to the point. Uh, hope you guys have a good one. Whatever you're doing, stay awesome. Stay beautiful. You are beautiful. Like and sub to the channel. It helps. Thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye. Oh yeah, so so I made the camera moving again. Don't don't get mad at me that it's moving. Don't look at me like that, all right? I know it's moving. I like it when it's moving. I know it's better for live streaming. I get it. Maybe it's driving you up a wall. Maybe it's moving too fast. Well, go to my live streams. It looks better there maybe. I don't I don't know, man. You try to got to do something different on the old YouTube, man. Everybody's sitting in front of their camera and just talking at it and this camera's moving. I'm trying to bring you guys something whatever dude